beach, and there's a little tiny corridor down there. It is ripe with the smell of testosterone. They've really, they've really gone hard for you tonight. How are we feeling in the, after the first one back, boys? A little bit dazed and confused. It was good. It was, it was, very, it was, like, very, it was like very surreal, not just performing again, but performing to an empty room. Good. Yeah, it's a yeah. bit of a weird one, isn't yeah. it, with the empty It was room. lovely. It was great. I can confirm, though, there were well over 20,000 people. I mean, you were basically playing in the O2 Damn. tonight. The O2 arena. Damn. Yeah, Damn. you were dropping it in the O2. And just to check as well, no new injuries or anything like that. We're, we're okay. Yeah, not so looking at anyone not in particular. Not like yeah. post-show. But yeah, so, Arnie, so Arnie, well, Arnie broke his ankle today playing basketball. And so like only it was just came from straight from A&E. Wow. You yeah. I mean, you were still hobbling on Superhuman it. Superhuman strength. He, he made it. Keeping the rock and roll alive. He still. said he for, he said he forgot. You, you said you forgot it, you 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 had a broken ankle halfway through because you were enjoying the show so much. Well, good. You got to give it the full commitment. Having things you. we do for love. You'll be all right. Good, good, good. And voice okay. I mean, I'm assuming well, just sort of left over from celebrating the football, right? <coughs> well, my one of my best friends got married yesterday, so that's why. Uh, yeah, yeah. Stepping up, doing a couple of vaccine numbers. If they didn't ask, oh, no. <laughs> bit rude, really, yeah. isn't it? Um, so let's talk about brand new album then that's on the way, Back in Love City. Um, feeling uh, feeling exciting. And uh, and in, in a way, new ventures being found out with this new one, right, Freddie? New ventures? Yeah, in terms of the sound of the vaccines and, and what you guys are really going for and trying out. Yeah, I mean, we were... Texas was such an inspiring place. And um, also... The previous year, I'd spent some time living in Mexico City, and that really kind of reignited my love for that kind of Morricone sound, uh, that rockabilly sound, and it was kind of a perfect storm. We ended up in Texas in the desert recording, and it just kind of, it was, it was an amazing experience. I've got to ask you, actually, while I've got you, when was the last time that suit got a run out? It's the first time. Is it? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Incredible. No rips or anything like no, that? No. Virgin Royal. Oh, it's Virgin Royal, beautiful, yeah. to be fair, mate. Um, I mean, back in Love City, right? So, you, you, I mean, there's a there's a relative concept behind it. I'm assuming there's a there's an idea I think of it's a loosely conceptual. Yeah, concept. but there's an idea of, uh, of of this place being Love City, right? Yeah. So, it, for the people at home, if you could kind of compare it to somewhere in real life, is there anywhere that you could maybe maybe put it at all? Or where could well, maybe? I think the idea is that like we w we were talking about a kind of modern day Pleasure Island. But in the modern day, that's not going to be a loc like a physical location. That's going to be somewhere that you kind of... Because if you went to Disneyland now, you'd see everyone on their phones. So it's kind of... Like a state of mind, maybe. It's a state but of mind. But you yeah. know, I will say that we're still, <coughs> we're still like having internal discussions and debates about where Love City is and what it means. And like we still can't really agree as a band. But I think that's kind of beautiful because I think that kind of sums it up, really. I think it's whatever you want it to be. To you, that's why I has hesitate to call it a concept record because I don't think we have like the concept nailed down. It's more just this loosely conceptual um, idea about like a, a place, you know, a place where you, you go to feel because everywhere else you just feel numb. Well, the the song <laughs> sounded outrageous on stage. The new ones, especially as well, they sound like they've got more than enough legs to to really fit in with the rest of the songs yeah, as well, you know, which is great. And, and I, I, what I really love about them is there's so much colour in these new songs too. Like, there must have been, when you when you were in Mexico, Freddie, there must have been things that were really kind of sticking out to you that really felt right to bring into these songs. Well, what I, <laughs> I was always talking about Mexico. What I love about Mexican culture so much is this kind of, there's a... a ma he's three laughing at the end. <laughs> he clearly know. doesn't shut up about it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a marrying of like, of kind of beauty and violence. And it's kind of, it's a very tough culture, but they really celebrate life and death and, um, yeah. <laughs> I actually, I got, I'm going to say I had my second uh, Pfizer vaccine yesterday and uh -huh. I'm, I'm like about to fall off this chair. Oh my God, okay, you're all right, <laughs> yeah. you're fine. I'm right. Just drink the water and you'll be all right, you'll be absolutely fine. I was yeah. going to ask you about some of the lyrics, but I can't, I've lost my thing now on the <laughs> HP laptop. It's not HP's kind of fault. Annoying, but no, it's definitely not <laughs> HP's fault, their laptop is fantastic. Um, uh, no, I know what I was going to ask you. The, the Reddit li lyric is in, in Headphones Baby. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Reddit lyric. Because HP wanted to know about how you guys use technology within making your music and, and how much it really influences it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I suppose, like, I'm, a, I'm an, a, an, I think we're all, you know, it's unavoidably obsessive kind of, like, technology users, social media users. And I think that, like, not only does it shape, obviously, shape the way you, you make music, but it obviously shapes the way you live your life. And so, therefore, it shapes the way you, like, think, use, like, listen to music and the way you kind of, yeah, like, feel and live and all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, it's like, I don't know, I feel like 
feel like deserves a dissertation. It's quite a, do you know what <laughs> I mean? It's I quite I a big yeah. question. I mean, yeah. we actually recorded one of the songs in the album, I think in four or five different countries. Like there was a song that we wanted to put on the album and Johan went over to Iceland, I was in Scotland, Justin was in London, uh, Tim was in Australia, and we kind of, we did it all remotely, so. Nice. Guys, Couldn't have could done that without technology. <laughs> that oh technology. yeah, you got to have yeah. tech there. Yeah. Guys on the floor, may I ask, yeah, could we get the questions coming in? Because um, I've lost them on my, on my version. Luckily, we've got a spare right here. HP, everyone, coming to the <laughs> rescue. <laughs> Excellent. So um, that's so HP. To the rescue <laughs> <on> HP. <laughs> Classic <laughs> HP. Always on hand, which we love. Um, I think what's quite interesting as well, you guys, obviously, with the side project Halloweens, and obviously, you've been doing stuff, working with other artists as well. And Freddie, I don't know whether you've been away doing working with other people too there's there's clearly a bit uh, quite an open-mindedness around this band in in um, being influenced from outside as well uh, how are you finding you know maybe newer ideas or, or newer artists that are coming through having an impact on a band that is about to step into their fifth album and who's been really established for a while I think as you know as like as as any artist finds I think when you're like five albums in you're 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 trying to figure out ways not just to survive right but to thrive and you don't want to become these like isolated old men who like don't listen to anything past what was released when they were like 21 all sorts of and I do you know increasingly I find like collaboration particularly like, outside of the band just like really it just really inspire like increasingly really ins inspiring and just helpful and 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 um and you know when I first started c doing that sort of stuff I would I would kind of almost like separate head and heart and I'd be like well the vaccines is my heart and then I'm kind of like using my head to do that stuff but but now I, I sort of see it as the same sort of thing, and it and it all comes from the heart, and I, and I think that it's un, it's undoubtedly like helped kind of like reignite m my like love for just like waking up and making music every day and like trying new things, and I don't know, and I think that this record is probably our most like fun sounding record since the first record, and I think that's probably you know a part of it. I also just think we all like. See, well, I think with this like th uh, this lineup, this kind of incarnation of the band, I just think we we really like complement complement each other well, and it's just like I don't know, it's like fun being in the band at the moment. I don't know. I think that comes that through after three weeks of tour. <laughs> <laughs> three <laughs> weeks, I think maybe three months. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, well, look, let's let's talk to the people because the fans are the ones that are missing you most. They're the people who've been without you for for two years or so now. And twenty thousand of them I've turned out. Twenty two thousand actually. That's amazing. I'm it right here, go up. I can see. Amazing. I can see. Like there's like a little delay, and I can see my <laughs> my, <laughs> my head. <laughs> it's a nice head. Yeah. It's a nice head. Um, okay, let's start with Harry. I heard you shout him out earlier, and that man has been all over the chat. So Harry, thank you so much for getting involved tonight over on There Is Light. Um, Harry would like to know what your favourite venue is to play of the vaccines. We had a we had an amazing show at Pepsi Center in in Mexico City. Is that what you're <laughs> going to say? Yeah, well, Mexico amazing. again. Mexico I think our favorite city to play is yeah. Mexico City. I think Ali pa like Ali Pali. Um, look, you're getting the giggles about it. <laughs> I think Ali. Like, yeah, I think Ali cool. Pali like is obviously is obviously amazing. We've been lucky enough to play there twice, and I think that this very rarely like do you get to go kind of play like arena sized rooms and then have everyone standing. So it feels like a tent at a festival or something, right? And so everyone's kind of in it together. Um, there's no cheap seats, as it were, and so uh, that's like that always. That always like makes for a pretty what frenetic. Was the, what was the Pepsi Center gig like then? Why was that so great? It's just I don't know. I d I think that when you play like kind of Central and South America, there is this kind of impassioned indie rock fan that you know learns all the lyrics to all the deep cuts and really just you know is prepared to sweat as much as you do and really like share something. I don't know. And uh, I don't know. It's it's just like it's always. Fucking crazy, basically. That's, quite, that's quite yeah. special, though, as a yeah. band, isn't it? You know, when you put your heart and soul into the music, and the fans give it back, if not more. And then points. to like, you know, to like to, to fly any, you know, to fly anywhere um, for twelve hours, and then get off a plane, and then there are people that you know are wearing your t-shirts and, and and know all your know all your songs and, and everything. That like st that's never that never gets old. I don't think. Um, so back in Love City, who's been in chat, and I've seen you chatting away loads and loads tonight. So thank you so much for that. I think I know who that is as well. Oh, who's that? I think it's Tom. Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Thank you for your question, mate. Um, did you guys always know the album was going to be called Back in Love City? Or did it have a different title before? No, it was always... I think once once that kind of phrase came out whilst writing the song, it became like the working title for the record. And it just, it just, it just served as a really sort of like helpful, I guess, like concept. <laughs> I don't know, and, and, and yes, no, actually, no, that so 
So I'm trying to say, the, basically, the, the second it came out, we were like, that's the name of the record. Yeah. Nice. That's the, that's the quick the answer. The short answer. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, gaming glitchiest writer. Hello to you. Thanks for hanging out. Um, they would like to know, if you could describe the new album in three words, what would those three words be? I Freddy's like describing it as uh, a friend of ours described it as frontier rock. Frontier so rock. That is only two. You can <laughs> add one more <laughs> if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. We don't need three words. <laughs> Just two is enough. HP frontier rock. <laughs> How about that? Perfect. <laughs> Save me. I think I. It, I think it's I. Look, I think it's very like we've all. Every time you make a record, you, you're trying to evolve, right? But you're also trying to figure out what. Um, what the vaccines do that no one else does and what makes you the vaccines and what's at your kind of core, you know, what's in your DNA and all that sort of stuff. And, um, and I do think like, euphor like euphoria is something that I always, I always like think is a kind of like through line, you know, like something like wetsuit is no less euphoric than all my friends are falling in love. So I definitely think it's like euphoric and it's heavy as well. And it's like colorful, I, I guess. It's like quite a sort of three dimensional. Euphoric, heavy, colorful. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, this is an interesting one. We're kind of talking about fans being very committed to the band, which is always nice to see. Kind of got a question in that ilk. Could a Lone Star be interpreted as a response to Lonely World and Come of Age? Hey, no. <laughs> but <laughs> nice I try. like where you're going with that. Nice try, yeah, nice yeah. try. Um, that was Endercat, by the way. Thanks to Endercat for that question. We know Endercat too. These are, are some heads. These are all heads. We know like, yeah, a lot of these the people. Yeah, 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 nice, yeah, nice, yeah. nice. Okay, are there any songs by any other artists that you hear and you think, damn, I really wish I wrote that? L literally every day. Yeah. yeah. Any examples? The, the actually, like, the last, like, Claro single blouse, I thought was like a beautiful song, and I was like very jealous. We've got a big Claro stand on our hands here, yeah. in Justin. No, it's, you know, right. just a casual fan. fan. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. No, but that was like the, you know, that was the last song in the last few weeks. So I heard that and thought that's it's pretty nice. crazy songwriting. Ready? No, I'm not a very jealous person. <laughs> you so are so calm. It's unreal. No. So calm. Okay, this is now you're up in the stars. Can uh, can you come sing? <laughs> No, I can't read that. No, I definitely <laughs> can't ask that. This is what happens when no, you start reading them and you can't finish them. No, to finish it now. Someone at my elopement in Scotland next year. No, that's probably Depends not. Depends what the fee is. Yeah, that's pro <laughs> depends what the fee is. Lay the money on the table and you've got them. Um, you've got HP money. Okay, is there a plan to do an uber massive tour after the launch of the album? Yeah, I, th I mean, that is the plan. Obviously, we're all beholden to uh, the world. Uh, uh, as it is right now. But yeah, no, absolutely, there's a plan. Like the record's coming out in September. We've got all the kind of in-store, outsource shows, which I should point out are like full, ba you know, they're like full band, full set. So it's like a proper, and they're in actual venues. So it's a, that's a proper tour with proper sort of um, gigs. Now I'm <laughs> glad we're not starting with an uber massive tour. <laughs> we have a nervous breakdown. But, um, but yeah, we like, ne and then next year, I think we're gonna announce. Nice. We're gonna announce something relatively soon, I think, for next year. Well, tonight was a really nice little warm up, wasn't it? You guys really, yeah, really went through it. It was good. That was from Pringle 11, by the way. Thank you so much, Pringle. Don't know um, Pringle. So where should we go next? Oh, this is quite a nice one. Did you accomplish any new hobbies whilst in lockdown? <laughs> Who learned something new in the band? I got Who like I got kind of good at cooking out of necessity, uh -huh. you know. Okay, is uh, that what? What's the? Is there a speciality that you can now turn to? I got. I think I got quite good at. Th there's like a Thai um, supermarket next to my house, so I got quite good at you know. Thai green curry, or just Thai green curry. <laughs> a few other like you know, a few other bits and bobs. Does he cook for you or not? I made a roti from scratch, which is actually a very difficult thing to do. You're 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 non-stop talent. You realise yeah. that, right? Yeah. Non-stop talent. Can't control him. What about you, Freddie? Anything? Anything? Uh, being cool. Just being just suave. Just being a fucking lad. Yeah. <laughs> Can't stop him. Okay, this one's from Jess. Um, oh, what were the new songs that you played tonight? Oh, good question. Yeah. Back in Love City. That's a great shout. We played Wanderlust second. Um, I'm just looking. <laughs> <laughs> we played Jump Off the Top, which is on the new record, but we've been playing it live for a couple of years. A Lone Star, uh, Headphones Baby. Great. And out of those, favourites to play? Which one you feel is really going to kick off? My favourite is A Lone Star. It's just, uh, it was kind of, it, it changed so much in the recording process, and I think it's 
one of the most colourful, like fun, ventral songs we've we've ever done. You feel really close to that one, Love specifically. It. Love nice. it. I think once people know one last, that's going it's going to kick off. Excellent. I hope. Yeah. Well, look, we can't wait for the brand new album, Back in Love City, September tenth, right? Yes, sir. September tenth, Back in Love City, brand new album from the Vaxes. They are back with number five. They've shown you what they're all about once again tonight, in case you've forgotten over the last couple of years or so. Absolutely biblical performers. What else would you expect from them? Boys, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Legend. make some noise. Thanks, man. The vaccines! <laughs> Big love to HP. Big love to DIY, as always, our partners tonight. We'll see you next weekend. Take it easy.